He's looking right at me. He's like, I heard about you. I was talking with a bunch of rabbits the other day. And they said, I don't have to be worried with you because you can't throw a spare where the shit. Oh, they were wrong! <laughs> oh. oh my god, he's still alive! Oh, he's attacking me! <laughs> oh no, my, my spare broke. Hello my loves and ladies, I'm Pitch Dark and welcome back to Medieval Dynasty. We're on day four and we are in summertime now. Uh, so we learned something pretty valuable last episode that if we don't finish our quest in a timely manner, they will fail. Um, so I, I'm not sure if it's, you know, a, a day pass or I think it might have been because the season had passed. We also, I guess, got teleported back to our house. So I don't know if because the season changed, they just, they put you back in the house, I guess. I don't know. Um, but doesn't matter. We're going to head on to Danica and warn them of the pe Oh, we, uh, hold on. That was still a quest line, right? Yes. Let's, let's put that on. So, so interesting enough that that didn't, okay. That didn't fail probably because that's considered a main quest, a story quest. Uh, so maybe story quests don't fail. But side quests can. Not sure. It's very interesting, though. So at least we don't have to worry about um, hunting rabbits. But we will need food, so we're gonna keep keep doing that. I'm sure it's gonna be a little bit harder to find food in the winter. But I think we'll be okay. We have our water skin now that we found, um, and I put all useful or unuseful things right now, like furs, leathers, that the uh, cartwheel we found. And the bolts, I stuck that in our chest in the house so we don't have to carry in that stuff. Because we get quite a quite a long journey to go. Should we try flirting with anybody in here? So when you when you oh this guy has a quest too. Um they don't give you the age of people until you talk to them. Let's see. Okay, you're 35. You're not gonna want to. You, you have no interest in me whatsoever, because I think I'm like 18 years old, right? Yeah, I'm 18. So, hey, you look young. Oop! <laughs> Keep doing that. I'm gonna lay people on fire. You have 54. Okay. You look different from behind. Okay. Uh, excuse me, young lady. Um, Leonardo. Leonardo. 21. We're close in age. Um, I don't think I should start off with... Okay. Well, I guess it doesn't matter. I, I swear that they're telling me that they're married because they really just don't like me. And they're like, I'm just gonna tell them I'm married, so leave me alone. Okay. Sorry to bother you. Just walk right into their house. Can I... See, I can take that stuff, too. You are my 17. You're my age. Okay. Hey, you have a minute? My mom said not to talk to strangers. Okay. I guess 18 or older, maybe? <laughs> I have no idea. Uh, let's see. Your dudes. Uh, I think I already talked to you. You're the older lady. All right. Oh, why does she have extra stuff around her? See that? Oh, that stuff she's good at. Oh, I wonder if this is someone I can hire. Yeah, I'm creating a new set. I'm looking for some good people willing to join me. Probably not. What? What? Why are you doing that with your arm? Hello, stranger. I came to this land recently, and I don't know anyone here. What can I do for you? Um, I want to tell you something, beautiful lady. Sorry, but you're a little too young for me. Oh, she's 30. Yeah, I guess. Gazelda? 25. Yeah, you're, you're too old for me too, probably. Are there... Ooh! Look at this. The game knows what I'm trying to do. A wife is necessary to ensure the survival of your dynasty. Thanks to her, 
you will have an heir who will who after reaching the right age will continue your history improve dynasty's reputation and develop the village so what if you stop playing as that as your heir because you do age so like after what 12 days that would be a year right because it's three days in a, in a season so we'll be 19 we'll probably live to be the ripe old age of 30 you know because it's medieval times you know so what if when we die Rasimir dies our heir we stop playing with that's pretty that'd be pretty interesting uh your wife could also help you rethink your talents and heal your wounds remember to take care not only of yourself but also of your whole family if your wife is very dissatisfied with your actions lack of shelter or a law or a long time lack of shelter for a long time food or possibility of warming up in the winter she may leave you and take the air with her I don't think they did that in medieval times, did they? I don't know. That that seems seems kind of harsh. I mean, I I get it. You want you want a warm bed, you want a fire, and you want food. I will provide that stuff for you the best I can. But you gotta give me a chance here, lady. I don't know you well enough yet. Okay. All right. Hey, do you have a minute? Sure. What is it? How's the job? I hope you're doing all right. Recently, I got into hunting. Got any tips? I don't think she's a hunter. Uh, how's the job? All right, good. I'm enjoying what I'm doing. You seem reliable. Maybe you could help me sometime. <laughs> yeah, I can help you. Uh, all right, have a minute. Uh, have Have you heard any gossip lately? Have you seen that noble who was passing nearby? Maybe. Oh, I heard people say that he had an amazing robes on it. Don't like that one. So you, you like the first one? No? Don't like the first one either? You don't like either one of them? Alright. Have you heard any gossip lately? She does not like gossiping. Okay. So Luwika, Lu, Lu, Ludica, does not like gossip. And she has no time for us right now. We just totally blew that. It's amazing I'm married, people. It really is. As you can see, I don't have the way, uh, way with the ladies. Never had. I, I don't have swagger. I never had swagger. So. I mean. My wife definitely settled when she married me. I can tell you that. <laughs> Anyways. Let's go on to Danica. I, you know what? I'm going to go. Is this where it is like that? I'm, I'm going to go cross country, I think. I'm gonna go cross country so we can try to get some some rabbits and some uh, some more uh, mushrooms and I bet you we can get berries now. It's branches. I'm thinking we might be able to pick berries now and stuff. So we probably have to be careful of wolves, right? So the because the wolves are in between. According to this guy up there, right? Because these two are in danger. Ooh. Let's get our handy dandy spear ready. Not sure how, how that's going to help us, but... It's better than nothing. Pick up the rock. Pick up another rock. Alright, huh? can we learn any more skills or anything? We haven't learned, really learned much of anything, have we? So, technology. So, to build this, I need 50 points for that. I need 50 points for that. We got nothing for food. Workshop. Oh, we almost, we're almost to the point where we can build a workshop. Stack of 10 wooden bolts. Is that what that says? Oh, workshop is crafting, sewing, and it's developed by. Crafting technology, blah, 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 blah. Workshop where workers building for crafting wooden and rock tools. So we can make more tools. Okay. All right. Something to note. Put this deer right there. Don't be startled. It's okay. 
Good dear. Good dear. I don't know why I'm doing this. I probably really should be wanting to look right now. Good dear. Alright, stay right there. Stay right there, sweetheart. Alright, stay right there. <laughs> Jesus. Alright, you. Stay right there. Don't move. It's all good. No, don't, don't, don't. Don't be startled. Everything's good. Ooh, yes! <coughs> oh, my spear broke. I'm gonna punch you in the ass. There we go. <laughs> hey, if it works. <laughs> Alright. Ass punching works. Alright, we got some meat. We got some meat for the day. <laughs> I love it. Oh, is that the... That's a different one. Oh, I think he's over there. We missed... Oh, we did have a spare though, right? We can pick up. There it is. Okay, good. We'll make some more at some point. Let's go up here, take a look at the scenery. I mean, this world is vast. It really is vast. It's nice. And you can build anywhere. I mean, I can build anything. I think I, I could build a house right here if I wanted to. I'm not going to, but I could. So I wonder if I can build multiple settlements. I don't know. I guess time will tell us, right? We're getting close. It's good. Okay, we're let's drink some water. Yeah, yeah, that's good. Hey, you don't really um doesn't really quench that much much of your thirst. I guess that's okay. I mean, it's not like you, it's not like we can't find water. <laughs> And since you don't have to boil it, you don't have to do anything like that, it's like, it's pretty simple. That's why it's like, it's not really, I mean, it's survival, it is survival. I mean, you do have to eat and drink and all that stuff, but let's see. Berry, there we go. Oops, pick berries. I mean, winter could be a lot harder, so. I really like how, I really like how you can see the berries, and then they disappear, as it would be in real life. What if we can make wine? So I like that how you do you just do things like picking berries and it, it adds to your your skill. Very useful. Alright, let's see what we got or what we can do. Survival. Okay, so we got survival knowledge. We can do um What else can we do? We can do this one. Which is survival sense, sensing mushrooms, feathers, and herbs in inspector mode. That might be useful. 10% more health is always useful. Uh, 2 degrees Celsius, better temperature tolerance. Bigger resistance to poisoning. We're, we've been avoiding poisoning. And we haven't had... Well, I mean, winter's coming. I'm, I'm going to go with this one, though. Because I think this would be very useful. All right, so did that help us anywhere here? Yeah, this doesn't went up a little bit. So now, oh, look at that. So what is, oh, Broadleaf, that we know is healing. Oh, that's cool. Oh, I like that. Oh, that's, oh, what is that stuff over there? Right here, what is this? John Worth's. Oh, is John Worth's healing? No. 
John Wartz is reduces the level of poisoning. That heals. That's for poisoning. Very nice. Is that me making that noise when I turn? I think it is. Okay. <laughs> Look, I hear something behind me. Oh, I just turned. I, I heard it again. Yep. That's me, Mr. Paranoid. Oh, so there's berries everywhere right here. Very nice. All right, I'm, I'm not going to bore you guys for picking up berries for an hour. Let's keep going. All right. Uh, where are we? Oh, I'm going too far south. Gotta go more west, right? Yeah, okay, like this way. Towards that marker. Alright, let's actually get our water skin filled back up. I mean, we already drank a little bit of it, but that's fine. And then we'll drink. Nice. Alright, let's follow this road and uh, get to Danica. Maybe we'll have better luck with the ladies here. <laughs> Ooh, what's that? <gasps> That's a fox. Oh, he's right there. He's looking right at me. He's like, I heard about you. I was talking with a bunch of rabbits the other day. And they said, I don't have to be worried with you because you can't throw a spare where the shit. Oh, they were wrong. <laughs> oh. oh my God, he's still alive. Oh, he's attacking me. <laughs> oh no, my, my spare broke. Oh. Oh. HP, oh. Yeah, okay. If you're injured you by a fall from a height or attacked by a wild animal, you can hit yourself by eating broadleaf plantain. Uh, it can be fine, yeah, okay. Right, I'm, I'm kind of fighting for my life right now. Uh. Oh, yeah. Is he dead? No, he's dead. I thought I killed him the first time. Uh, so my health. Oh, my health did go down. All right, skin this bastard. It's <laughs> funny. Uh, two fur, two meat. Nice. Uh, we'll eat that. Look at that, our health's going right up. We'll get some more of it. We'll, we'll be able to find it. We'll be able to find it really easy, too. Nice. All right, let's, um... No. We're out of, uh, our, uh, spares. Oh. Okay, that time... Okay, that's a deer. I'll say that time it was not me. I do, like... The chopping of trees. I think that is so cool. Uh, stick. That's all I got? Well, that's, that's, doesn't seem right. We'll do all, we'll do two spares. I also like how you, you stay. Oh, new building unlock workshop. We can build a workshop now. Yes. All right, let's go get this done so we can start building some stuff. All right. Talk to this dude before they get eaten by wolves. I'm sure that's gonna hurt relationships. Uh, where, oh, there it is. Nice. I'm coming. Don't worry, I'm here. I will not let the wolves hurt you. Probably should cook up some of that meat too. Well, we have dry meat, don't we? Uh, oh, I guess we got a piece of roasted meat. We got dry meat. Okay. That's fine. All right, where are we going? Dagobirth. Excuse me, sir. Excuse me. Sir. Excuse me. Dagobirth. Excuse me. Hey, stranger. What are you doing in my land? I am no stranger anymore. I am Rasimir, nephew of Jordan, and I moved into this valley some time ago. Yeah, I've been here for like a, a season. Well, if you're really Jordan's nephew, you can't be too bad after all. Is there proof of that? Proof? Well, my mother told me he had a scar on his left cheek 
and an awkward way to get on and off a horseback, something with a childhood injury. Good enough for me, <laughs> for now. So what do you want? I was sent to alert you that wolves are gathering northeast of your home, and it's only a matter of time before they get curious or hungry. You should build some palisades and arm your family. Uh, there hasn't been wolf attacks in many, many years. Too many people live here now, and the wolves are retreating into the mountains. It's very unlikely they will come here. All right, but not impossible. Sambo says he has seen a large pack coming closer and closer. Uh, can you be entirely sure of that? You have your wife and your daughter here. Are you afraid they could get attacked? Yeah, are you afraid? All right, I'll take it more seriously. Thank you. But I'm out of logs. Can you get me 40 logs? I will build a palisade myself. That's a lot of work, man. Uh, and my wife will indulge you with the best of kitchen has to offer. You have my axe. <laughs> As Gimli would say. And you have my axe. Is this your wife? Should I, should I hit up? That's, is that your wife? Is that your wife? Damn, bro. <laughs> yeah, I'm married. Okay, don't tell my kid on you. I just wanted to see. Um, well, do you have a minute? Uh, it's got back. Okay, she likes me a little bit, but yeah. I don't think that's his wife because... I thought she would have some goods or something. Anyways, we, we got work to do. 40 logs. Wait, okay, where did he go? Is that him? Oh, he's over there. Okay, let's go over near these trees. I'm hoping I can give them to him like a little bit at a time because we can't carry 40 logs. So let's try this. It's a lot of chopping. Especially when I can't even hit the damn tree. Here we go. Alright, log. Log. Alright. Next. Ooh, Timber! Look out below! Don't land on this freaking cabbage. That would piss him off, I'm sure. Log. Ooh! Almost killed me. Oh, yeah, we're already dragging ass with just these few. Alright, where is he? All right, dude, this is gonna take me like, this is gonna take me all season. I have some of your logs. Thank you, I'll wait for the rest. Okay, so we, at least we can, okay. We can deliver them a little bit at a time. All right, this is gonna be a while, guys. Maybe I got too much stuff on me I need to drop. All right, who's who? So this guy wants something too, so we'll talk, we'll talk to him later, maybe. There you go, okay, yeah, blah, blah, blah. All right, that was 10 of them. Bring it on me. I'm carrying 35. What am I carrying 35 pounds of what? Oh, I should have put my fur stuff away. Can I sort this by weight? Stone axe. The berries. Six, six pounds of berries. You know, I'm going to drop the berries. I can probably pick them back up again. I hope. Drop the berries. Uh, I'm gonna keep the rocks because I'm probably gonna end up. I'll drop the sticks. We can always get sticks. Okay. If I do that, okay, I can see them with my focus. All right, let's try this. So if I can only carry two logs at a time, that's gonna suck. <laughs> Six pounds of berries. It's crazy. How much does one log weigh? Uh, five. So two of them weighs five pounds. Okay. So two logs weighed less than the bunch of berries I picked up. Seems to be a weight distribution problem, if you ask me. 
I did read that right, right? That that was like six pounds of berries. And about seven pounds of sticks. I mean, I had a lot of sticks, so I can see that being weighing something. But not, God. But not more than two logs. Dang. Dude, where are you? Did you? What time is it? 1840? You, wow, you, you quit work early, don't you? What the hell's that noise? Oh man, you got sick goats. <laughs> to make all kinds of noise over here. Oh, look at them. Oh, okay. That's kind of cool. They know it's nighttime. They're going to sleep. Oh, oh I can buy them. Oh, that's cool. Oh, can I get like a male and female goat and breed them? I hope so. That'd be another way to make money. Uh, dag of birth. Oh, you, you're the wife? That makes more sense. All right, uh, no, you're, you're a different guy. Who are you? Hold on. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm in the wrong house. I apologize. Have a, have a good evening, folks. That was embarrassing. Where the hell is he? Oh, she has a quest. Jesus. I'm not good at this at all. Get okay, wait. Oh, he's right in front of me. God damn you. There you go. Yes. Uh, okay. Yeah, I'll, I'll be going where all the trees are, and you can remain here. Yeah, don't worry about your own people or anything. Fine. I got this. It's all good. I had to sacrifice my berries for you. If I go starving in the winter, I'm going to come here and I'm going to eat your body. I'll go cannibal. I don't care. Yep. Hope you're enjoying yourself. Having a nice evening. Is this, is this the... Fuck you. You're still with the same lady. Alright. But she doesn't... Oops. Alright. No, she is... She's tw oh, she's 22 years old though. Tell you something, beautiful lady. I don't know you well enough. Okay. Uh, hey, you got a minute? How's the job? You doing all right? Yeah, good. Yeah, I'm enjoying what I'm doing. I seem reliable. Maybe you can help me sometime. Okay. So it must be just kind of the same things. Uh, let's see. Hey, do you have a minute? Okay, this didn't work too well. I got into hunting. Got any tips? She likes hunting. I've got a lot to learn. Maybe I could teach you someday. It's always nice to see people take up a noble pastime. Oh, look, now we got an affection thing. I would like to tell you something, beautiful lady. I don't want to waste any more time without you marry me. Okay, that's that's a little fast. Um, my lady, I cannot help but compliment your shapely figure. That, that usually doesn't go down very good. First meeting, she's thrown out and out. Like I said, not a ladies' man. I don't know. I mean, I don't know. Uh, how have you been lately? I hope you're doing good. I hope you're doing well. If you ever need anything, just ask me. I'll be glad to help you, especially since it's you. See, that's nice. She does not like that though. She likes. She wanted me to compliment me, her, on her on her figure. All right, I gotta go. This is like too much for me. Harry, I'm going, I shouldn't say that because she won't like that. Yeah, apparently she uh, she would have dug it if I said, hey, nice looking ass. <laughs> you guys don't mind if I cut this tree down, do you? Oh, look at that. Now we can build a storage. Oh, we are cruising. We are, we are doing good here. I only got one lock from that one. Hit this person's house. Pink. 
Oh, can't move. All right, Dagobert, where are you? Still at the fire, I hope. Yes. I'm coming to see you, Bill. Uh, if anybody want to give me a hand, I would appreciate it. No, lady, no. Okay. Almost there. Almost there. Should have complimented you on your shapely figure. I apologize. Okay, these are your logs. All right, eight more. We can do this. We can do this. No problem. I don't care if you like this tree or not. Apparently you care. Yeah, imagine if they came out of the house all pissed off. <laughs> you just cut that off. My grandfather planted that tree. New level extraction. Well, I mean, shit. We should be leveling pretty fast with this kind of... All this work. You know, missing trees. It's, it's hard to get anyone there at that angle. Oh, I'm sorry about your house. Sorry about that. My bad. And timber, and it's gonna fall in. Look at right in between. Look at that. Nobody cuts trees better than me. Alright, how many is that? We need eight, right? Seven. Just need one more. <laughs> I love it when I mess. It's kind of funny. And it goes. Whoosh. Very good. Come on. Okay, there's no reason why I'm missing right now. There we go. I'm gonna grab all of them. I'm just gonna drop the sticks again. Cause that way that we can make another spare. Uh, drop all of them. Beautiful. We can always come back for them if we want it. But probably not going to. I might go back for the berries though. Uh, did he move? Oh yeah, he's gone. There he is, he's over there. He likes to make me work for it. There you go. Okay, here's the rest of it. It was quite some work. I bet, and you shall not regret that, talk to Matilda. I smell something in the air. I hope it is what I'm thinking. My stomach is empty. My hands are hurting. All right, Matilda. Uh, where's Matilda? Oh, Matilda. Right there. There she is. Hello, Matilda. All right, we got pot porridge, pottage. You nearly uh, you must nearly be starved after all that work. Here, a hearty porridge. Yay! And some soup. Ooh, smells delicious. Can I have the recipe? Well, it's a family secret. Shame on you. Nonetheless, thank you for the mail. Nice. Why did I say shame on you? It wasn't really nice. All right, let's eat because we are starved. That was a lot of work. All right, so we get 30 nutrition from that, 35 from the soup. Nice. Soup is off is is very crunchy. Very crunchy soup. That's all right. We like crunchy soup. A lot of carrots. I'm sure. Um, yeah, let's drink some water. Awesome. All right, cool. So what I'm gonna do then is that was a, this is probably a lot. I'll, I'll I'll add it a lot of the the wood chopping because you know that's kind of boring. Um. But yeah, we're going to head back to Unigast, Unigast, and then see what we have to do from here. Uh, I'm wondering if, if you have to sleep, because, I mean, we have our health, we have our stamina, we have our food and all that. What is this on here? I'm not sure what this is. That's poison. 
Is that experience? Oh, wait. Is that... That's not hunger. No, that's hunger there. I'm not sure what this is. I should look this up because I'm wondering if that's fatigue. So I'm wondering, like, so I'm, just, I'm just thinking, do I have to sleep? That like, can I just go through the night and, and not sleep and not have to worry about it? Because that's the case, we could do a lot of serious stuff. But if we have to sleep, then, you know, then we sleep. But anyways, uh, I hope you're enjoying these episodes. I'm, I'm enjoying the game so far. Uh, it's pretty cool. Can't wait to start building. Uh, we do have... Ooh, 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 we have the ability to do a, an upgrade on a, on a skill here. Uh, we can do one with nature. 5% slower pickaxe shovel durability loss. We're not using really that yet. 5% uh, slower axe durability loss. That might be something good. Uh, we're not mining or digging. We can go to the next level of, of wood chopping. 30% faster logging, 65% faster logging would be the next level. Um, yeah, let's do that one. All right, that's cool. So now, technology, we can build a resource storage. Uh, so it's the main storage for resources. It receives a storage collection in the woodshop, excavation shed, mine, hunting lodge, barn, and fold. Inhabitants need this building to get wood. Ah, okay. So if I build this, I could hire somebody to be the resource manager, I guess. And may I wonder if they go out and gather wood. Interesting. Uh, so we don't have enough for the hunting lodge yet. Uh, but we do have enough for the workshop. A worker building f for crafting wooden and rock tools and weapons. It also has a workstation for crafting and a small storage. Very cool. So I think we're going to do this. We'll do the workshop first. Um, and then we'll build the resource storage. Yeah, very cool. All right, anyways, like I said, I am enjoying the game. I hope you are too. And I do it. Uh, thank you for watching, and I will see you on the next episode. Thank you.